so far so good we can click done and the picture will change to esp well okay so this is the schematic of our well our onshore or online well with esp and now we are ready to perform calculation and in this video i will concentrate on generating vlp vertical lift performance so we do that by using calculation vlp or tubing curves all right okay so for the bottom hole pressure i will set it at 400 psig and the glr for example 5 or 10 SCF per STB. And for the vertical lift correlation, I will use Petroleum Experts 2. Rate method, I will use user selected. Okay. Or we can also select this one, automatic geometric. And for the calculated or calculate to be curve standard. You can also use this one, lift curves for simulators. Let's say we will generate VLP for MBAL or for other reservoir simulator. We can select this one, lift curves for simulation or simulators. And lastly, click no. And now we create cases. Okay. I will set the operating frequency to be 60. We will only create actually just one case. And I will set the top node pressure to be, all right, 500. With the CBM GLR, I will set it at 10. And for the liquid level, I will set it at 2000. Okay, click done. All right. And then we can click this one, calculate, show calculating data. All right. Very fast. Okay, so this is the VLP table results. You can get the water rate, gas rate, VLP pressure, wellhead pressure, wellhead temperature first note temperature, the friction pressure, okay, friction pressure drop, gravity pressure drop, pump intake pressure, PIP, pump discharge pressure, pump intake rate, average rate through the pump, pump discharge rate, and others. Comprehensive table, okay. Of course, you can click like this one and then copy and paste the data on your spreadsheet. Okay, you can click plot, plot all cases. We only have one case. I will plot the water rate against the VLP pressure. Okay, click done. All right, so this is our VLP. Interesting, right? This is our VLP. Okay. You can also plot other parameters like, for example, friction, gravity, contribution, right? Pump intake pressure, pump discharge pressure, pump intake rate, and others. Okay. Annulus rate? No. no. What about pump efficiency? Oh, you can see, right? So at this range, around approximately 600 to approximately 800, the pump will operate at maximum efficiency. And below that range or higher than that range, the efficiency drops. Power requirement. Removal. Head generated, all right. Separated efficiency, 90%, it's constant. 
intake temperature, outlet temperature, and others. You can exercise it yourself, okay? All right, so I think that's all. I think we can call it a day. But what about calculation VLP? I mean, nodal analysis.